high screen and rolls, separation, and knocking down threes. Utah makes an NBA record 16 threes a game. What a drive right there. This Memphis Grizzly team is a sneaky good defensive team. They've got athleticism at every position, and they're deep. Beautiful move. Good-looking drive inside by John Morant. With Clarkson the other way, he'll try to melt into the defense, and that ball was taken with Morant the other way. He'll take it up and in for two. He found a blast, and he took advantage of it. Memphis and Utah have played three times this season in the regular year, and all wins by Utah. There's a three put down the hatch. Dylan Brooks cans it from outside. Well, a nice little 12-2 run here. And you talk about Taylor Jenkins is from the Popovich tree, so he understands that. Nice move, quick move here by Morant. Jousting with Alan Junis and picked up by Brooks. And the other way they come with Morant. Bain, corner three, got it! Morant has got six and three of eight. 11 for Anderson, 15 for Brooks, who averages 17 a game. Shifting inside, clever move, dodging wow. defenders, and puts it up and through. And two other starters on the bench for the Jazz. Bain on the floor for Memphis, just came off. Morant inside, tries to get that one, guides it through. <laughs> Slow-mo, I love yeah, it. I know. <laughs> Morant, no haphazard moves there. He knows exactly what he's doing as he puts in the runner. Pretty play for Favors. He's put two in a row now in. Here comes Brooks. Ramrods his way down that lane and gets two. The young man is fearless and growing up in front of our eyes. With Conley now and a pass. A lot of time left. Let's see what Moran concocts here. Conley quickly goes on him. Screen Valanciunas. Oh, it's treacherous inside, but he got the ball to roll in for two. Morant and Conley. Five to play. Morant driving. Oh, my oh goodness. what a play. Gracefully, elegantly takes it in, soaring for the two. Now you've got two starters out. No Donovan Mitchell. It's Morant taking it in, concocting that move. 12 of 44 now for Utah. 27% from downtown. Here's Morant, who takes it in with a floater again. They got O'Neal on him. Morant will try to drive, and he does with a scoop wow. and a score! What a play by John Morant! Come in for favors. Ingles, Bogdanovich, three to tie. No, off, loose, around, zeros on the clock. Memphis has pulled the upset. The Grizzlies have beaten Utah in game one. Terrific in game one. Out to Morant. Add the 26 points. Bulldozing with a spin. Here comes the surge of Allen Shooters who gets the two. Brooks had 31 the other night. He was sensational, the fourth year player from Oregon. Around the screen, Morant tries to work, gashing the defense and gets it to go. For the tree bound. Here comes Mitchell, fourth year player out of Louisville. Inside, lost it, and the other way they go. And here comes Morant. With a break, a nice transition for the Grizzlies. Who is Kyle Anderson, 14 in game one. So Moran's got four, and Mitchell's got three. And in the lane, it's Memphis leading points in the wow. paint. And two more right there for Morant. Who and he's shown it with his long-distance shooting. They're up by four. Oh, great pass inside. His first. Plus 15 advantage from that three-point line for the Jazz. What? I'm wondering why is the bear open so much? He is setting the best screens for his team. Beautiful move again by Morant, who's in double figures now with 10. Morant with the rebound. And the back takes it in. Acrobatic play. <laughs> Another two, and he's got 14. His team, the Jazz people, were operating on the side of caution with a good feed by Morant and nice uh, tricky shot up and in by Kyle Anderson. They call them assist screens, screen assists in the analytics world. Over 60 a game, they say. Good shot outside by John Morant. He continues to fire. 17 during the regular season and already 10 
in this first half. Difference of four seconds, game clock, shot clock into Conley. Driving is Morant. Got it to go and give him 22. When he is engaged and locked in like he is offensively, this is a very difficult Jazz team to beat. Morant with a three. Pull up 15 footers. He's locked and loaded. And again, Dazzles with a move. 10, they made 10, at least 10 threes in every game this season. An NBA record. Jaron Jackson with the answer. It's his dribble penetration that collapsed this Memphis defense. Good point. John Moran. In traffic in 29. There's Kyle Anderson. And Moran behind the back. Dribble into Mitchell. Oh, Scoops it off to Brooks. We're on the play. Look at this move. Defense. Game. Seven to play in the third. Was 22 points. Touch over there by Morant. Talk about a guy finding his rhythm. 31. He is. That's a good. That's a good. Will not go away. Valanciunas with a three. Rebound Morant. Hold on. Here he goes. And we've got a six-point game with for the savvy veteran Mike Conley. Morant dancing, stutter stepping, and finds Valanciunas, and Gobert is down. And a 17 with 10 assists. Utah the last four and a half minutes on a 21 to seven run. They go into Morant. Oh mm. my goodness! Athletic dunk here. Isn't that pretty to watch. Beautiful pass there by Anderson. Wow. Wow, wow. Anderson's got such great touch. And, and Kevin, look at the 33-year-old point guard who starts. 14 shots, 20 points in 30 minutes. Morant takes it in. He's gone mad in this game. Morant now with 43. The moves, Reggie. Look at this. He told Rudy Gobert, I'll be to see you. You got me in the first half. I'll be to see you, big fella. John Morant, in his second playoff game, holds the career high of points in a game right now at 45. His second playoff game. 30 or more times. How about Morant? He got to the line 20 times by himself in game two. Jesse Jackson banks it in. He's not shot the ball well from out there. When he retired, 3.5 blocks for his career is still number one. And also 5.6 blocks in one year is still another record. Mitchell gets the bounce. Donovan Mitchell, four points and three assists, and it's a nine-point Utah lead early on. They got a big in game two, but Memphis made a run. Sweet shot by John Moran off the glass. And then also you had two guys challenging the shot. Morant into the paint, so good with that push shot as he scores against Favors. The Jazz made 17 a game during the regular season. That's an NBA record. Morant takes it strong, hangs and finishes at the rim. And they're able to control the offensive, or the defensive rebound as O'Neal was trying to get a second chance opportunity. Morant with the hang and the finish with the left hand. That you would get a shot block there. Foul on the other end against Favors on a rip through, so no shooting foul. Morant's three around and down. John Morant with his first three pointer. In this series, he's only shooting 25%, but I'm glad that he hit that. You got to get the score here. It's the time, a 360 by John Morant. Their three point shooting, leading the league in makes and attempts, has just been astronomical. And then they're showing to us today why that stat is so big. Such an underrated player. Hasn't had a great night in terms of scoring, but he does have six rebounds and now ten points. Well, he can get off to a slow start, but we all know he can end in a, with a four. Now, remember, coming in to this, Clarkson was one for 14 in the three ball. Rebounded by Morant, looking to push tempo. But we had Balanchunas. Nice. Instead, Brooks drives, gets all the way nice. to the goal. Just so strong on penetration. Conley knocks down both free throws, and he's got a game high. 20 points, 10-point lead for the Jazz. Anderson walks into a three that's good. 
splits the double team, gets into the lane. Jackson's got to hoist it, one on the shot clock. Jackson gets it away, and it's good from about eight feet. Now and Utah has four turnovers in the fourth quarter. And they get Valanchunas in for Jackson. Morant, who's so good in the paint, among the best guards we've seen in a long time in the lane. For the three ball, shooting a great percentage. Six for eight. And now seven for nine after that. Morant comes back with a three of his own. And you all know that every game, you must take that away. And I'm surprised because Valanchunas got caught and he didn't play either player. Washington Wizards strike in that series as they have taken game four on a night that uh, Joel Embiid left that game with a knee injury looking to take a stranglehold on this series and that was probably the first contested shot that the Jazz have had in this game and playing Bogdanovich there with a beautiful find for the finish here comes Moran sizes up favors runs out of real estate this is Desmond Bain that's a three Talked to Quinn Snyder before the game towards the end of last season, according to Snyder. And what a season it has been. His points per game average back up to where it normally has been. Of a game already in this series. So really the first stressful moment now for the Grizzlies. They're down six. And John Moran, as he has done so many times. Consistent in terms of their ability to shoot that three ball. That was Utah's 10th three of the night. Moran! Three second difference, shot to game clock. Here comes Moran, elevates over Gobert, and hits! John Moran scored the final six points of the half for Memphis. Get the sense he's going to have to have a huge second half as Kyle Anderson... It was just lights out. They had that 22 and 2 stretch through January and February. Uh, I'm thinking that they probably made that a point of emphasis <laughs> to Quinn Snyder and his coaching staff to like, let's put more. Again, a Memphis team that has prided itself on its defense all season. Try to come back. Moran. It's a perfect marriage. And, you know, uh, what he's talking about. And great defense there by Valanchunas. Morant dropping a dime to Anderson. O'Neal continues to be electric from beyond the arc for the Jazz. And, you know, he's also an incredible screener and finisher, which are things in spot. How about that finish there <laughs> by John Morant? Last season in the bubble. Utah has its largest lead of the night after Memphis had cut it to one earlier in the quarter. Jazz averaged to 12 fast break points per game in a regular season. Grizzlies forced to turn over. Morant going to the cup and laying it in. And what's right, and it's the right call, unfortunately, for Memphis. See that run by Utah. Mitchell with 10 of his 24 in the quarter. Jordan Clarkson, which is no easy task. And another turnover. Morant to steal, so Brooks stays in the game. And puts it down with two. They give up a three, but it's a contested three off the dribble. And that's what you want to see more of on their end. And this is what they need more. Shot that's a three. Break. Utah holding on to this 10-point lead. Melton launches from three and hits. Brooks wins the tip. 20 seconds. Morant has to hurry. Jackson launches a three and hits. Six career playoff games and 28 points a game. It'll be slow mo and a little scoop off the glass. The, the way they move the ball tells me that they can. I love the fact that they consistently get great looks at the rim. Good post entry and Valanchunas right now up by 14 on the 11 to nothing blitz. And that's a wide open three corner, short corner three. John Morant gets it right back. Hard off the heel and it stays home. Yeah, how good has it been for Utah? They've started the game 11 to 14, almost 79%. Great slip on the screen. Fallon Judas on the slam. And the only win for the Memphis Grizzlies when they won in Salt Lake City. Dylan Brooks. That's not his specialty, but they'll take it.
And that is a huge triple almost seven minutes into the first quarter. They're 31 and five at home for a reason, the Utah Jazz. Yeah, and I was wondering what the mindset was going to be. Because sometimes you come into this game and when it's a closed out situation, There's the way he handles the basket, they got to load up. Point game. Got to load up, give Rudy some help. Do not let Ja go at Rudy one on one right here. Make him see bodies. Ja got there. Rudy did everything he could. Now the rim. Final 45 seconds, setting things up. Jaron Jackson Jr. And oh. hard to the hole with the left hand over Gobert. Oh my goodness. And what a bonus Clarkson's been. They signed him during the offseason. Hold on, you said they traded. Four year deal. They got Jordan Clarkson for who? You heard me. Yeah. <laughs> John Moran <laughs> gets the triple. They get their shots based on ball movement and body movement. And when you get your shots based on that, sometimes you can have nights like you're having tonight where you're able to just score the high level as job. A really good young coach. I think I played against Quinn Snyder in the NCAA tournament when he was at Missouri, too. When he was coaching Missouri. I was going to say he was ahead of you at Duke. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dylan Brooks gets the triple. How about 23 points for Mitchell? Ooh. On the take, John Morant curls it home. Man. Quiet some momentarily, but uh, unfortunately, they're trading threes for twos. He happened to miss it, but it's a great quality look. The play calling by Quinn Snyder and the offensive design is flawless. John Moran stays with the play. Or it looks like who's in the game? I wouldn't say Brooks, but whoever's playing the two right now. Desmond. That, yeah, Desmond Bain. Whoever's taking those shots, that's who it is. 14 of 34. And make it 35 now. 40% of the triples. So they've got 14 compared to just seven. Now to Junus in the paint. He gets a basketball operations job? I don't I don't understand it. Somebody's gonna have to explain that to me in Boston. John Moran gets a triple. And somebody and from Bojangles Jangles send me some biscuits. Joe Ingles, they're going to need in the next round. He is 0 for 5, 0 for 4 on his triples so far. Didn't shoot one on the last game. Jaron Jackson Jr. fills it up. Well, and that's a lucky number lately in NBA drafts. 13th overall. Jaron Jackson Jr. fills it up again. Donovan Mitchell just sat down for the night, but if he joined us a little bit late, he put on a show in the first quarter. He extended the lead dramatically for them to the point where it had to be frustration for a real young team, the youngest team in the postseason. Set the tone for how this game was going to be played and his teammates followed. Nine dimes. That's a good story for them. John ja Morant. They're just, they're just playing at a, at a way higher level than Memphis. Ja Morant denied. It's Melton and a beautiful corner three. With 21 points for Rudy Gobert. Going to be Dylan Brooks. Got a triple.